out there with how things went for you guys this afternoon? Yeah, you know, it was tough offensively. You know, we were driving the, uh, driving down the field. It looked like, you know, every drive we were able to, you know, drive down on them. Um, you know, they made a couple plays. And, you know, we can't turn the ball over five times against a, a scrappy team like that, you know. To, to, to put the defense back out there, you know, a couple, five possessions, you know, that's hard. You know, total, de- uh, you know, special teams, I think we had a fumble. Defensively, we gave up touchdowns in two, three plays. So, you know, as a team, you know, we, we fought till the end, but, you know, we got to play better against a team like that. How did it feel for you, obviously, being from here to come and be the starter in this game where you grew up? You know, it was exciting, but to me, it was just another game. You know, they were a faceless opponent. Obviously, you know, I'm from Tucson, so I had, you know, probably over 200 family members in the stands, um, you know, but, you know, just trying not to make it a bigger deal than it was, take what the defense gives me. Um, you know, like I said, they, they made a couple of good plays on defense and ended up coming out on top, but, you know, that just is going to push us in the offseason to come back better and stronger next year. With your showing this year, obviously, it seems like it's really set you up to be, you know, the starter next year, whereas maybe in the past that hasn't been the case. Yeah, you know, in college football today, you never know what's going to happen. You know, uh, we don't know what coaches are coming in. We don't know what players are going to return. But for me, I'm just going to control what I can. I'm going to work this offseason to get bigger, stronger, faster. Um, you know, I'm going to try to keep my guys here with me. And, you know, we're going to be something special. Uh, the scuffle at the end, what happened? Uh, I wasn't even a part of that, so. We're just defending our teammates, that's all. Jer, how would you describe just the season, the coaching change, all the adversity you guys have had to battle through? Yeah, uh, it definitely was a lot to go through this season, but um, this team, you know, we were super close together, not just the players, but the staff and everything too. So it helped being able to lean on one another, you know, call your brother, hang out with your brother, whatever it was, it, you know, just help you get through whatever it was and just focus on football. And ultimately the goal for us was to go out there and prove everybody wrong. So like I said, it was just, it was helpful to have people to fall back on. Guys, it offensively was one really nice catch after another. What did it feel like kind of being a part of that? You go. Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, you know, every day we go out there, you know, expecting to make big plays, you know, winning on one-on-one matchups. That's something big that's in our room every week. But uh, as much as it feels good, it, it doesn't feel as good since we didn't come out with the victory, you know, so. Obviously, a little soon to reflect, Trent, but what, what are you going to remember from this season, the ups and downs and the journey you had personally? You know, trusting God's plan. You know, you never know when your number's going to be called and you got to be ready. Um, you know, so like I said, I'm going to go into this off season. you know, just controlling what I can. I can't control the outside factors. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated we didn't come out with the victory today. I'm frustrated we didn't come out with a lot of victories this season, but you can't control that. It's in the past. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the future. And, you know, I'm just, just trusting God's plan to see what happens. You mentioned just controlling what you can control. But, I mean, you, you, you are right. You, may, you don't know your position coach pick will be next yep. year. You know, it's college football today. You know, like they said, you can't, you know, uh, you can't be a coach and, you know, come in and have, you know, three, four years to build something. It's got to be instant. You know, with the transfer portal and all these coaching changes, you know, you got to be able to come in and be successful. And I think Arizona State is a great place to build a program. You know, you have a great location. You have great kids in the state of Arizona. Um, you know, I'm from Arizona. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, you know, we'll see what, what God has planned for everyone. What, what, what roles do you guys have to play as you know, older veteran guys to try to make sure that you don't have Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, with us being you know the veteran guys now, people like Kyle and stuff like that leaving, uh, it's just gonna be like more weight on our shoulders. You know, we're gonna have to be the vocal ones. You know, we're gonna have to push people. You know, we're gonna have to bring people together. We're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna be the ones who have to set everything up rather than you know Kyle or like the the leadership group who was this year. So it's just really gonna be us like coming together and taking that step forward to, to bring the team together. Because like I said, we're we're a super close unit, so we're gonna be solid next year for sure. Yeah, you know, we, we haven't we have had a season like this in a while. You know, we went through a lot of obstacles, a lot of coaching changes, position changes, everything like that. So, you know, just making sure, you know, this this team, um, you know, stays together, sticks together. You know, I'm already planning to have the guys already over at my house this week, you know, making sure we're all we're all a family, not just on the field, but outside the field. And, you know, like Coach Aguano said, you know, his number's never going to change. You know, so we got love for Coach Aguano and all the coaches this year that really, you know, we're in a tough position too. you know, had to, had to have bigger roles. But, you know, I love everybody on this team. That's the, the strength staff, the, you know, the, the equipment guys, my teammates, everybody in the building at ASU did a fantastic job you know we had, we had a tough year but everybody gave it all they can so yeah you know they ended up you know bringing a corner blitz and I kind of liked it because you know we knew we were going to have a one-on-one matchup with our uh, with our receiver with the safety um you know just didn't have time I think they did a good job of you know trying to blitz me some you know we were driving down like I said like it was nothing um but you got to tip your tip your hat to them they made a good play at the end of the game and you know I wish I could have it back but you know that's just how it goes sometimes Trenton, uh, you seem really positive about Arizona State right now. Does that mean you're sticking around? You know, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I'm going to trust God's plan, and it's going to all work out. You had, like, maybe a few dozen of your family and friends sitting in the, the zone as you were there wearing your shirts. Yep. What, 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 
did that feel like for you to just see that? Yeah, you know, growing up, you know, I didn't miss a home game here from the time I was born to the time I was 14. So, you know, this tunnel where we run out of, you know, I was in that first row. You know, I was booing the guys. I was booing Coach Berkovici when he'd run out, and now I'm that guy running out. So, you know, it's, just, it's crazy how it all worked out, but I wouldn't change anything for the world, you know, to, to walk on at Arizona State, to have another former walk-on, you know, make big plays today over and over. It just proves to everybody out there in the state of Arizona, outside the world, you know, you may be overlooked, but control what you can, and good things can happen. Did you consider Arizona at all? You know, uh, it was funny. I, I was trying my, my hardest to come here to walk on um, with Coach Sumlin's staff and, you know, Coach Richrod. And, you know, they would always tell me, yeah, you're always welcome to come here and, you know, watch. And I was like, watch? Like, I don't, I don't want to watch. I want to play. Um, you know, and luckily, you know, three weeks before I graduated, Arizona State had me up on a visit. And, you know, the rest, uh, the rest is history. But, you know, like I said, it, it was all God's plan and just trusting his timing and controlling what I can. You guys ready? We got Coach Iguana ready to go here in a minute. One Appreciate more. you. You got one more? There you go. First, you, you, you mentioned some of those things that Iguana has instilled in the team. For both of you individually, what kind of impact is he going to leave with each of you? Um, I think it's really the Ohana he talks about, you know, the family. Personally, for me, uh, this is my third year here now, and I feel like this is the closest, at least for me, I've ever been with the team. Like, as a unit, you know, we all hang out together outside of football. You know, like how Trent said, we go over people's houses. You know, we, we all bond together outside of football. You know, it's not just like, oh, we're at practice, like we got a little click or however you want to say it. Like, we, we're all cool. We're all family. So I think if there's one thing that stick, it's that. And then, of course, just always fighting to the end, no matter the circumstances, no matter what's going on, just always give it your all. Yeah, for me, my bad, my bad. My, for me, you know, Coach Aguano, you know, I was lucky to, you know, grow up in the state of Arizona. He's a legend in Arizona. You know, I would tell people the last couple of years, I'm like, the guy right there, yeah, the running backs coach, offensive genius. You know, so I was super excited, you know, for him to get the opportunity to coach us and prove to everybody that, you know, he's capable of coaching a Division One football team. You know, you see, you see offensively what we can do. You know, we're putting up big numbers. Um, but, you know, like I said, he trusted God's plan just like I trusted it. And, you know, just staying together as a family, you know, not only in the, in the game of football but outside. Um, but, you know, like I said, you know, 20 years from now, you guys are all going to forget about this, but we're all going to be hanging out. We'll be texting each other like that. Um, but, you know, like I said, Coach Aguano did a great job of bringing energy, keeping everybody together, and just at the end of the day, fighting to the last whistle.